All right. Today we are going to talk about input and output and what does that look like? So right here we have our table. We have input, we have rule, and we have output. Let's look at our numbers in input. I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Hmm, I have a rule here and it says plus two. So let's pretend this is a machine. I'm putting in the number three. I'm going to follow the rule. And once I follow that rule, I'm going to get an output number, the number that comes out. So right here, I have the number three. I'm gonna follow the rule plus two. So three plus two is five. So my output number, the number that's gonna come out is five. My next one, six plus two. Six plus two is eight. Nine plus two, 11, 12 plus two, 14. 15 plus two is 17. Again, let's pretend that this is a mach machine. I put the number three in, it's rumbling, plus two, boop, out comes the number five. Whatever number is being put in, I'm going to follow that rule, whether it says add two, subtract two, multiply by two, multiply by five, whatever the rule is, I'm going to use that rule and apply it to my input number to get the output number. Now, not all input output tables have a rule. Some of them look like this. Notice, I do not have a rule here. I just have an input and an output. My question is, what is my rule? Now I have to figure out what my rule is based on the input of the number and the output. Hmm, I have seven and out came 14. I can think of multiple things I can do. I know that seven plus seven is 14. So is my rule plus seven? Let's see if that applies for my next one. I have an input of 12 and an output of 24. I know that 12 plus seven doesn't give me 24, it gives me 19. Hmm, so plus seven can't be my rule. How else can I get 14 with an input of seven? I know that my number is going up, so I can't subtract from this number because then that would give me a smaller number. I tried adding, but that didn't work. Hmm, what if I multiply? I know that seven times one would give me seven, so that can't get it, give me that right answer. What about seven times two? Seven times two, that gives me 14. Let's see if that same rule of times two applies for my next number. I have 12. 12 times two, that gives me 24. Let's see if that keeps working. 18. 18 times two is 36. It looks like my rule of plus two or sorry, times two is working. 24 times two, that does give me 48. And 48 times two, that does give me 96. So what is my rule? My rule is times two.